creates a sonic bubble in the middle of the room. Seeing as how the only two things that symbiotes hate are fire and sonics, I'm guessing Ock made it just in case Carnage tried to double cross him. What color do you bleed, Spider-Man? Better not let it go to waste. The whole gimmick to Car Carnage's fight is to keep him in this bubble. Of course I miss a comic book right here, but hey. You can get one through that bubble. And it'll make things not much easier really. Cause uh yeah, that bubble harms you too. Yeah, I guess that's what Yeah, I guess that would happen if you were to expose Sonics to a human being. I mean it's it's I don't think you need to be a symbiote to, you know, appreciate the amount of hearing damage you're gonna get from it. But hey. So here's an interesting fact about Carnage. He's one of the only bosses you can web yank and grab. This is how you're meant to fight him. Is to make sure he does not escape that bubble. Of course, if you could try other alternative methods, but uh... Eh. Are you really a good Spider-Man player if you do that? Are you? Well, whatever. This is also a pretty easy, cheesy method, but hey. You are a born loser, Cletus Cassidy. Like I told Mysterio, no one can control the symbiotes. No one I've met, anyway. Take a breather, Spidey. It's over. Well, just another day in the life- Whoa! What the- f <laughs> Is that Ark? Spidey vs. Monster Rock. The unholy fusion of Carnage and Octo Octavius. Lots of nightmares to be had, I guess. Although I personally never had them. But I didn't stop this level from being pulse pounding to this day. Anyway, the dif difference between here and the other difficulties that hard mode, that icon up there, if he passes you for. Just even a split second. It's way too. Just, if that icon is over Spidey, you like at barely, you die. That's it. Game over. So on hard mode, you better halt it. And it's even harder if you're trying to get the comic books. So have fun. And remember, Spidey's gonna cling to the walls when he gets the nearest chance. So you better be quick on canceling out from the walls and web you know web breaking basically endurance of timing for a few more minutes that bar on the right though that's ah, entirely cosmetic don't worry about it even though this is base is exploding thanks to the fog getting uh, covered up you don't have to worry about it don't worry anything really just let Monster Rock destroy all these unknown structures and you're on your way. Luckily your spidey sense, even through it helps you sense danger, uh, it'll help you find out where you need a web sip. And that's basically it for this whole boss. Interestingly enough, Monster Rock is a character exclusive to this game. So, yeah, you'll never really see him other material. I mean, there was that one time uh, Octavius fused with c the Karn symbiote in one of the cartoon shows. But I don't think anyone wants to talk about that show. So, yeah. Also, don't pay attention to that graphical error on the nuclear bar thing. You also don't have to worry about filling up, but hey, that's it. We made it. After all that, it was the symbiote that saved Ock. You've got to be kidding. Perfect end to a perfect day. Huh? What the? It 
It's a good thing Black Cat gave me a call, son. It looks like just in time. Hey, Spidey. Can you get us Captain America's autograph? Oh, brother. Punisher, do you have any threes? Go fish! So, nice of you to join us for once, Spidey. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out saving the world. Beating you guys at cards ought to be pretty easy. Your spider sense won't save you here. Look who's talking, Daredevil. You've been looking at my cards all night. I don't need to look at your cards, Punisher. Your bluffs are so obvious. Okay, okay. Let's keep this a nice, friendly, clean game. Ugh. Who keeps inviting this guy? Hey, will you guys keep it down? Hey, loosen up, kids! I'm on fire! Wait, hold on. Time out. All of you guys were working together, and you still couldn't take down Spider-Man? <gasps> it's not my fault. Doc Ock's plan was horrible! Everyone knows you can't control the symbiote! Hey, wait! So, I'm a rhino, you're a scorpion, and he's an octopus. What's a Mysterio? So, Rhino, you got any threes? Uh, hey! Hey, I got a bingo! Ha ha! You guys think you're so smart, but I won! Ha! Who's your daddy, Doc Ock? Ha ha ha! Victory is mine! You're always laughing at me! But who's crying now, huh? Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Uh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. And that's it for the game. Our reward for being hard mode? is Captain Universe. Obviously the best costume you can get in the game. Invincibility, unlimited webbing... I mean, the only thing it doesn't have is turning invisible, but... Gotta beat the game twice to do that, so... Yeah. You also unlock uh, the symbiote Spidey suit when you also complete the game. But since we're playing on hard mode, Captain Universe overwrites symbiote, so... This is what we're gonna get. Anyway, I was Spider-Man 2000. A really amazing game, I'd say. Although it is oddly, obviously aged. I mean, it's been close to 18 years now to this point that the game has been released. And it certainly has some issues, uh... I mean, uh, let's see here. Controls are pretty clunky, actually. I mean, for their time, they're pretty good. I mean, could you name a good Spider-Man game besides maybe, uh, Maximum Carnage, maybe Separation Anxiety? Those games... Yeah, the Spidey games weren't that great. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen them. I mean, they're bad enough that the angry video game nerd has made videos on them himself. But hey, this is one of the good Spidey games. The one that paved the way to all the later ones. Ones are actually fun and good. So yeah. The controls are pretty clunky though, all things considered. And it's pretty bad when uh when you're crawling when the controls don't, you know, uh re just back to what they were. Kinda makes me think this game probably ran on tank controls back in the day. If you've seen old footage of this game before it was released, you'll know how uh, different this could this game originally was. Then again, this game is not running. This game's running on an engine that's been for different games. I think one's Apocalypse and Tony Hawk. I played Tony Hawk before, but Apocalypse never have. I don't know if the controls of that game probably influenced this one, but yeah. Other than that, the game's pretty fine. I mean, I guess a few levels here and there I don't like, like you know the sewage treatment stuff, but... <laughs> the games are fantastic all around. A must play, I'd say. So, yeah. There's not much else to this. I mean, it's well written, but it's pretty simple. But hey, it's the simple stuff in life that gets you the best results. 
Of course, this isn't going to be the last time we'll see Spidey. There was a sequel not developed by Neversoft, but by Vic Vicarious Visions, who you may know as, as of recent, the remasters of the Crashed Insane Trilogy. Yeah, they made a sequel. I'll say, I'll be about to play it too. Although, it won't be, you know, handled nearly as well as this one. Anyway, yeah. I'll say this much about Interlectro. It's not as it's definitely not as good as this one. It has some good ideas, but mm, the execution, some levels, eh. Anyway, this is the end for Spidey. Spider-Man 2000 for the Sony PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Sega Dreamcast, and PC. Fantastic game all around. You should play it. Anyway, that's it for me. Signing off, not your usual zero. See you next time.